Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Shopify connector. Now this particular plugin integrates your WooCommerce store with the Shopify store and you can integrate multiple Shopify store accounts with your WooCommerce store and using this plugin you will be able to synchronize products, categories and orders between the respective platforms as required as per the need uh, there. Now the plugin allows the merchants to import and export simple and variable type of product as well as allows them to create the price rules for the Shopify products there. So in today's video tutorial I'll be taking you through the workflow at the admin and how to add a particular uh, Shopify account in the admin backend of the uh, WooCommerce there and the rest of the flow there itself but before we proceed further with this particular video tutorial please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now you can see that I'm at the uh, backend of the WooCommerce store and I'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username and password and tapping on the login button thereafter. Now after the successful installation of the uh, particular plugin that's the WooCommerce Shopify connector, uh, the admin will find one option in the side panel that's the WooCommerce Shopify connector and under that he'll have two different options. One is the Shopify account connect uh, that allows you to connect multiple Shopify accounts with your WooCommerce store and you have the price rule section so as to create the price rules there as per your need uh, as required. Now in today's video we'll just go through the different uh, options here that we have in the admin backend panel. So first of all let's go to the Shopify account connect and let's see how we can add an account. So for that I'll just tap here in the Shopify account connect option and that will bring up the particular section now uh, for the Shopify account connect. Now here if you want to add your Shopify account so what you need to do is you need to just tap here on the add account button that you have to the right of this particular lab label that you can see here that's the add account button. So if I tap on that uh, we'll be able to see uh, the new Shopify account section wherein we'll be able to set up the account information and we have to enter the store name. Uh, or and you need to set the unique store name for your account here you need to set up your api key for your account uh, you have to enter the api and password for your account and the domain name uh, here as well without the https colon forward slash forward slash there now to uh, check the details on how to get the api key and the password you can check the user guide that i've attached within the description of this particular uh, video uh, tutorial and uh, within the user guide you will be able to see how you can access your Shopify account and after accessing your Shopify account how you will be able to get the API key and the password. Uh, to give you a gist of that uh, you have to navigate to the how to get API credentials from your Shopify account within the blog itself and uh, there what you need to do is after you've logged into your Shopify account uh, 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 what the admin needs to do he needs to go to the app section and there he'll find one option in the bottom that's the manage private apps as you can see and you have to click on the manage private apps to generate and manage the API for the store and after you've clicked on the create a new private app uh, you have to fill in the required details for the same and then you'll be getting the API key and password for your store itself there so you can check the user guide for a better understanding of how to generate the api key and the uh, password there also uh, the uh, uh, the new private app that you're creating uh, should have the read and write api permissions for the customer details and the customer groups inventory order transaction and fulfillments product information product variation and uh, collection as well Apart from that, you can also check out how to integrate the Shopify credentials with your WooCommerce store. Uh, that details have been provided in the blog itself. So now let's hop on to the admin backend once again. So after you've entered these details here, you have to tap here on the save button. After you've tapped here on the save button, your account would be checked and uh, you can see this particular section as you can see right now, I've already added one Shopify account here. Uh, that's uh, with the store name that's the web cool demo 2020 with the Shopify user ID as well now after you've saved your Shopify account here uh, you can add multiple Shopify accounts as well and then you'll have one option here that's the manage account now if I tap here on the manage account 
uh, we'll be able to see the manage account options with different tabs here the very first tab that we have here is the account details then we have the general configuration that includes the general settings export order settings shopify auto synchronization settings then we have the map categories wherein you'll be able to select your store category and the shopify store category and map the categories there and can find the complete list of imported categories and the map categories then we have the import product section wherein you will be able to import the products from the shopify into your uh, woocommerce store and you'll be able to import product after you have imported the products by tapping on the import product you'll be able to create your imported products and then you'll find the complete list of products here with the uh, store product id product image the shopify product id and the shopify product name along with the type of the product as well so that was about the manage uh, map categories import product then we have the import order section uh, wherein you will be able to import and create the uh, imported orders here and the uh, particular orders would be listed here and here you will find the store order id the order status order creation date and the shopify order id so here you will be able to import the orders from the shopify store into your woocommerce store similarly you will be able to uh, export the products and the orders from your woocommerce store into your uh, shopify store there and uh, here you can also export the orders uh, from the uh, WooCommerce store into the Shopify store there as per your own requirement. So uh, under the general configuration we have uh, different uh, general settings like we have the default category option so you can choose the default category uh, for your store there. Uh, you have the import product option whether you want to import all products or only mapped category products. Then you have the option to uh, import the product description with html so you can choose a yes or a no for that then you can apply the price rules uh, on none imported products or the exported products for imported products the price rule will be applicable uh, on the products that are imported from the shopify into your woocommerce store and if you want you can also set up the price rule applicable for the exported products from your woocommerce store into your shopify's web store there then you have the order status here you can check choose the order status for your orders there then we have the product status uh, so here you can choose uh, the product status uh, for the products whether draft pending review or published then we have the imported image size so you can choose the imported image size as well for your products whether the thumbnail size medium size or a full size should be there then this was uh, basically the general settings that we have then we have the export order settings so here you can choose the export order shipping whether to include the shipping cost or to exclude the shipping cost then we have the export order text whether uh, we want to include the uh, tax cost with the exported order or not so you can include the tax cost or exclude the tax cost uh, then we have the export order discount whether you want to include the uh, discount or exclude the discount from the export ordered uh, there then we have the shopify auto synchronization settings whether you want to set up the auto sync you can disable it you can choose to auto sync sync uh, the system from woocommerce uh, woocommerce from shopify or shopify from woocommerce and then you have the shopify export order option here you'll be able to set up the shopify export order as manual whether you want to uh, manually export the orders to shopify or you want to set up a cron uh, there to, uh, to uh, export your uh, shopify orders there then you can tap here on the save button to save the general uh, configuration now under the map categories let's go to the map categories uh, let me show you what uh, different options are there under the map categories under the map categories you will be able to select your woocommerce store category and choose the shopify categories and you can map the categories by tapping on the map category button and that would start uh, mapping the categories so here you can see that i've uh, mapped uh, the accessories uh, of the woocommerce store with the shopify album store there and here we have the store category the store category name the shopify category id the shopify category name and the published date at shopify 
and the published scope and the Shopify as well. If you want, you can import the categories as well by tapping here in the import categories button and that would uh, start uh, importing the categories there. So you can see that one uh, category is being imported right now. After the uh, categories have been imported, seven categories have been imported as you can see there uh, right now. And now if I tap here uh, on the select Shopify category, we also have the summer collection, winter collection, casual shoes, kicks, music, t-shirt, ninja and more. So this is your WooCommerce uh, web store uh, category listing and this is the Shopify uh, category listing that you can see. So that's how you can uh, import the categories first from the Shopify into your WooCommerce and then you can map your uh, WooCommerce categories with the Shopify categories and then those categories would then get listed here uh, as required. Now coming to the import product uh, section here you'll be able to import the products uh, from uh, Shopify into your WooCommerce store and after you imported the products you can create the imported products in uh, your WooCommerce store by tapping on the create imported products. So here you can also edit or update any of the products that you've imported. You can also update and delete the products as required by choosing the bulk actions uh, here uh, like update or you want to delete the products and you can tap on the apply button thereafter. To import the products you just need to tap here in the import product button and that would start importing the products uh, from the uh, Shopify store into the web uh, into your WooCommerce web store and here you can see that 10 have already been imported two products are being imported out of 10 uh, so two products are being imported as soon as the products have been imported into uh, your WooCommerce store you will be able to create the products there after the products have been imported you can then tap here on the create imported products and the products would be created into your WooCommerce uh, web store then we have the import order section now the same goes for the import orders as well here you'll find the complete list of uh, orders that you've imported from the Shopify store into your uh, WooCommerce web store to import the orders you'll be able to tap here in the import order after importing the orders from the Shopify into your WooCommerce store you'll be able to create the imported orders by tapping here in the create imported orders apart from that you'll be able to edit the uh, imported orders as well by tapping on the edit button that you can see for the respective orders here you'll find uh, the Shopify order ID as well, the order creation date, the order status and the WooCommerce order ID, store order ID as well that has been assigned to the same. Then coming to the export product and the export order, under the export product you'll be able to select uh, the products that you want to export uh, to uh, your Shopify web store. So you can select the products that are there within your WooCommerce store and from the bulk actions you can choose export and then you can tap on the apply button and that would start exporting the products from your WooCommerce store into your Shopify store as required. The same goes uh, for the uh, export order as well. So you can see that two products have been exported out of two. So we had selected two products there. So two products have been exported there and uh, two more products so total of four products have been exported from uh, the uh, woocommerce store into the shopify web store there now coming to the export order section here you'll be able to export the woocommerce uh, orders uh, the, that you want to export into your shopify web store so you can select uh, the order id is that you want to export and then from the bulk actions you can tap on the export and tap on the apply button and that would start exporting your woocommerce orders into your shopify web store there so you can see that the two orders have been exported uh, and now only one order is uh, still pending there uh, and here you can also export uh, the particular order by tapping on the export button that you can see on the right hand side under the actions column so uh, that was about the Shopify account connect and coming to the price rules uh, here you, you'll be able to or the merchants would be able to add the price rules so here you can uh, add the price rules uh, by setting up the price from and price to value setting up the operation type whether fixed to percentage type and you can choose the operation whether to increase or decrease the price and you can set the price there and set the uh, status there as enable or disable for your particular price rule now from the bulk actions you can delete any of the created price rules to add a new price rule you'll be able to tap here on the add price rule button 
and that brings up the particular section to create a new price rule so here you'll be able to set up your price from and price to values choose the operation type whether fixed one uh, or whether the price should be a fixed one or the percentage one uh, depending upon the operation type you can choose the operation whether to increase or decrease the price and then you can choose the amount of price that should be increased or decreased for the products there and then you need to choose your Shopify store to which uh, this particular price rule should be applicable there and then for this particular price rule that you're going to create you'll have to uh, enable uh, the particular price rule status by choosing it as enabled and lastly just tap here in the save button and the particular price rule would be saved and would be visible under the Shopify price rules here under the price rules section so yes that was much about the backend configuration there for the uh, WooCommerce Shopify connector and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow there and if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.